All right, let's talk about installing the Windows Admin Center. The Windows Admin Center is a tool from Microsoft to admin Windows servers. It is a web-based tool. You can install it either on your local workstation or you can install it on a server called the Gateway Server. And then that server, you can connect to it using a web browser and you can access the admin center. And obviously you have to have admin rights to do anything really exciting with it. So it doesn't necessarily create a security problem, although some people I can imagine being a little nervous about it. Um, as part of the security ramifications, it cannot be installed on a domain controller. So I have a domain member server here, and I have downloaded the Windows Admin Center for installation. Now, it's not something that you're going to find in roles or features, so you can't install it through Server Manager. What you have to do is go out and search for, do an internet search for Windows Admin Center, and that will take you straight to a download. And you'll have to register for the download. It's free registration. Just give Microsoft some information. You can download the Admin Center. Um, just a couple of things to be aware of. Mentioned one already. It cannot be installed on a domain controller. It has to be installed on a member server if you're installing a gateway server. Number two is... Um, you're going to need a certificate for it. So that's something you've got to be aware of. You can use a temporary self-generated certificate, but it'll only last for um, 60 days, I believe. Um, number three, um, it is going to open up additional ports in your firewall, obviously. So that's something you need to be aware of on whatever server you put it on. And then... It works better if it's on a system that is connected to the internet. So right now I'm not. I'm on a server that's in an isolated environment. It'll install okay, but then it's not going to be able to download it or update any of its extensions. So let's get started with our installation. So I'm going to double click here. Installation is fairly straightforward. Yes, I want to install the Windows Admin Center. Yes, I accept the terms of the license agreement. So this is going to take it a second. Um, it's going to walk through several steps here. It's not actually started the installation yet. It's preparing it. And this, there's five, six steps here that it's got to go through. And this is going to take it a minute or two. So be aware of that. It will tell you right up here what it's doing. Um, some of it is analyzing your environment. Some of it is um, setting up stuff that it needs in order to run the installation. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. I've got about three steps left. I'm going to pause the video and we're going to pick it up as soon as it's done. Okay, so it's finished that first process. Now it brings us to this page. Do we want to do an express setup or a custom setup? An express setup is convenient because it's going to look at the environment and say, hey, I think this is going to be the best approach. A custom setup lets you customize everything. And you'll see them defined up here. Express setup will determine your network access port selection for you. Uh, on a Windows server, it's going to default to port 443. On a Windows client, it's going to default to port uh, 6600. Firewalls will be set up automatically. Custom is where you determine everything. So the login mode, the host access network names, the network ports, the certificate type, the FQDN, trusted host uh, mode, and WinRM over HTTPS. All of that you can customize using a custom setup. We're going to do the express setup, which is pretty fast and easy. If we have a TLS certificate already on this machine, I can use it right here. If I do not, I can generate a self-signed certificate. Now, the key there is it expires in 60 days, which means I'm going to need to get another certificate, possibly from my CA or something like that, if I have an internal CA certificate authority. Uh, I'm going to need to pick up a certificate uh, for TLS from that one and install it here or 60 days from now, it's not going to function. It's a demo. I don't care. I'm going to let it go. Do we want to up install updates automatically? Now, something to be aware of here with updates. 
is if you let it install updates automatically, uh, the Windows Admin Center uses a bunch of extensions. Some of them are going to be pre-installed. Some of them are not. Some of them you can add in later. Um, but with the updates, so these extensions also get updated. So if you let them install automatically, then it'll just install in the background right out. Again, you've got to be internet connected for this to function, so we're not going to see it here. But right after you do the installation, there's going to be a bunch of updates that need to be done. And while you were running those updates, sometimes it will break the functionality of uh, Windows Admin Center. So normally, once the updates are finished and the Windows Admin Center restarts, that functionality comes back. But that is something you need to be aware of. So the other option, the other two options, notify me of available updates without downloading or installing. Just let me know they're there. And then disable automatic updates entirely. I'm going to go ahead and let it install updates automatically. The other thing I will tell you about this is the installation process for updates takes longer than I would expect it to. So it is not a quick process. And each update or each extension updates individually and it takes them a few minutes to do that what data do we want to send to microsoft microsoft is still in the process of rapidly developing this product it has made a lot of progress in a little while but they are still pulling a lot of data to try to improve it so that's what they're asking for here do you want to send us information? What information do you want to send us? The required diagnostic data, we will not run without this, or required plus optional. And you can read the descriptions there. I'm not connected to the internet, so it doesn't matter. So I'm going to click next, and we'll just do required. And now we start the install process. Now, this is going to take a little while. So once again, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. And then when it gets close to being done with the installation or finishes the installation, then we're going to hop back in. Okay, so our installation is finished. We have a link here to open it. Remember, this is my install file that I downloaded. And then it gives me the option to start at the admin center. And it gives me the URL that we're going to use for it. So I can use this URL to... Uh, log into the Windows Admin Center from anywhere else. So I'm going to click Finish, and it should automatically open. I had the little checkbox there that said, yeah, open this. I have not always had perfect luck with it doing that. So let me go ahead and double-click this to open it, and it should open Microsoft Edge. And from Microsoft Edge, it accesses that URL, it says my connection isn't private. Yeah, that's, I'm going to click maybe later and make that go away. That's because it doesn't trust the self-signed certificate. So that's fine. I'm going to click advanced and continue. I'm going to log in. And I'm going to specify that I'm logging in as my Bassett 301 backslash administrator. Because I don't want it to use the local system admin, which it's done a few times. And then do my... Login. Now, this is something that I have had happen with Edge a lot. So every time I've installed this, I try to open it up. Using Microsoft Edge, it comes up with this, and I actually cannot view it. Um, I think it's something with Edge and not necessarily with the Admin Center. Because if I download Chrome and install Chrome, then I can access it just fine. So... At this point, I know that the Windows Admin Center is up and running, even if Edge won't open it. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the video at this point. We're going to do another video here in a minute where we are on a system that I've downloaded Chrome on so that you can see how we can work with the Windows Admin Center.